Oh, that time has come. The time for final exam where two hardened news professionals compete to find out who has been paying closer attention to what's going on in the world this past week. Our defending champion this week, Fox National correspondent Peter Ducey, is going for his second win in a row. His challenger, who was also his challenger for the very first edition of this segment, is Fox's Elizabeth Pran. They both join us on set. It's great to see both. I know you know the rules. I do know the rules. The future champion knows the rules. But for the sake of our viewers just tuning in, I'm going to repeat them very quickly. Hands on buzzers. I ask the questions. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. You have to wait till I finish asking it in order to answer it. Each correct answer worth one point. Each incorrect gets a point subtracted from your total best of five wins. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, good. I'm, Are you I'm ready? ready? I've been practicing. I, I'm kind of shooting for Last me as week. well. <laughs> I'm kind of in two. I don't know if you can tell. You know, if you're not in your own side, who will be? All right, first question. Which Democratic senator chastised Hillary Clinton this week for saying that voters from her state are looking backward? Peter Ducey. I think that that is Heidi Heitkamp. Heidi Heitkamp. Now, you preface that by saying, I think. I thought enough to press the, to ring the alarm. <laughs> to ring the alarm, also known as the buzzer. Was it Heidi Heitkamp? To the tape we go. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill slamming Hillary Clinton for her recent wasn't remarks right. I was just there on too. why she lost the 2016 election. No it felt like she was criticizing Missouri voters, mm. and um, I would draw. I mean, talk I about drawing a line. I, I would draw a line there. there. I have great respect for Missouri voters, and there are a lot of reasons Awkward they voted for Donald Trump. Some of which I completely understand. So the Missouri senator has complete respect for Missouri voters, not for North Dakota voters, though. I don't know that. I, I, don't, <laughs> you know, I don't know anything about it. It's so funny because oh. I was going to call him out and I'm like, well, I don't know. What it is. No, I, I didn't either, actually. Question oh two. Let's see okay, if you know. I know this one for sure. Roseanne Barr, not a senator, says liberals became too extreme during the 2016 election. That's the headline. The other night she confronted a late night show host for going too far to the left. Who did she confront? I want to say Elizabeth Pratt. Stephen Colbert? Stephen Colbert. Did she confront Stephen Jimmy, Colbert? Jimmy Fallon. I think. I was shocked because I know you're a, you were a very liberal, socially liberal person so, yeah, in general. That was kind of, yeah. I mean, I'm kind still of the same. You all moved. <laughs> you all went so right. far out, you lost everybody. I didn't say Stephen Colbert. I said Jimmy Kimmel. You did. It, like, it just sounded. So, it just sounded like this S and the J. Well, both are kind of French names. Um, okay, so for the first time in the history of the show, we now have negative one to negative Is that really the yes, first time it's ever happened? Yes, that's true. It's the first time it's ever happened. Okay. No one's ever done this So we're kind time. of winning. But we have three more. Someone can get to zero if we try hard. Question three. There is an object in space right now. It's the size of a school bus, and it's falling to Earth even as we speak. There is a slight chance it could hit the United States. What is that object? It's Elizabeth Pran. Chinese space station? It's a Chinese space station. Is it a Chinese space station? The Chinese space station oh is God. heading for Earth after losing communications with an 18,000 space Can we go? Are we done? Are we done? <laughs> about three done? years ago. No, no, you really. Know this That's the only one I'm going to get right. Come down somewhere. Most of it will burn up. About 10 to 40 percent of it will reach, reach the Earth. There you go. This is the only one I'm going to get right. So are we done? Taking the lead at zero. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> We're not. We have two more. You can get into positive territory. You can, too, actually. The game's still wide open. Two more no, questions. Number four. Which former president has gone viral online after being being filmed dancing enthusiastically at a family wedding. Oh, wait. It is George W. Bush. George W. Bush. Yes. Says Peter Ducey. Roll the I tape, please. Former President George W. Bush is going viral after tearing you know up the dance too. floor at his nephew's wedding. Watch this. Don't seem worried at all about yeah, the uh, falling space the, station. Uh, <laughs> what are they doing with this one? I need this around. one. These are broken. <laughs> So with 80% of the segment concluded, we are now zero to okay. zero. But I've, whatever, it's a relative I've, measure. So back the, where the, we started. The, the person who wins this question, who answers it correctly, wins the segment. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Final question. The Los Angeles Rams announced this week that in an NFL first, their cheerleading squad would see a major change this season. What is that change? Elizabeth Pratt. Male cheerleaders. I don't believe you. You know what? I think they should do this for Major League Baseball. I don't know why. It's Are just... there cheerleaders in Major League Baseball? No. Huh. Uh, mascots. No, Miami does have cheerleaders, I but think. But you can cheer from the stands. Is the change male cheerleaders? 
Back now with a big change coming to the NFL for the first time ever. Men will be on a cheerleading squad. Quentin and Napoleon will be on the sidelines for the L.A. Rams. I, you know what? I see a second career for you. Well, now I didn't even know. Okay, that so it was for a extra credit, the yeah. question is: Is this an improvement or the end of everything we hold dear? Oh boy, I don't feel like we should you say anything. Too subjective. Too subjective. No, You're absolutely right. Like well, Elizabeth Pran, you are the winner. I can't believe that oh unseating uh, a seasoned this victor. Is this is never going to happen. And now again. you're the winner I of the coveted Eric that. Wemple mug, commemorating his appearance on this show, Washington Post. Eric Wemple. Drink coffee from that okay. and think of us. Elizabeth Pran, congratulate. It doesn't. It can be any beverage of your I choice, including that. wine. We will see you next week. Peter, I know that we will see you again. I, you are I the. Know. This is this <laughs> need, Match Game 76. Week. You'd be that Brett lady. You'd be the woman who always comes back. Yeah. I'm thank, glad there thank were no you both. <laughs> <laughs> Match Game 76. That's all for this week's final exam.